Slick spots remain on the roads and highways from the freezing rain. MDOT says the crews will continue treating roads until the ice is cleared up. 12 News' Cameron Smith is live in our Storm Chaser Lightning with an update on the conditions. And Cameron, what are you seeing? Byron, we are on I-20 right before exit 56, which is the downtown Brandon exit. And at the moment, I-20 westbound is closed until they can get this accident involving a semi-truck cleared. And as you can also see, there's several tow trucks tending to it, and they just started getting it moving um, recently. But as you can see, IC roads have made the interstate dangerous for drivers. David Kenny with MDOT says they're continuing to work diligently to make the interstates and highways safe. Our crews are out treating the roads. Um, but all interstates and highways are open in Hines and uh, Rankin and Madison counties. Um, there is still a significant amount of ice on the roads, but uh, we do believe that there are travel lanes that are passable at this time. We do advise people not to get out unless it's an absolute emergency. And as you can see, as the sun did come out this afternoon, it melted in most spots. But then there also are those shady spots where ice is still on the roads. And there are concerns that this is going to turn into black ice over overnight. And the temperatures are not expected to warm up until tomorrow afternoon. I also reached out to Rankin County Sheriff's Department to see what caused the accident we just showed you moments ago. I stay with 12 News. We'll provide more information as we get it. Reporting live in Storm Chaser Lightning, Cameron Smith, 12 News.